So guys, so currently it's 10, 12 in the morning and I'm waiting on the client to join this onboarding call and I feel like a fucking wreck. I feel like so stressed and overwhelmed and nervous and also just fat headache from all the caffeine I had last night, which is stupid. And yeah, like I called, it was like 10 and I was waiting like, where is he? Why isn't he in the Zoom yet? And I called him and he was driving and he was like, oh, like, like did not take this seriously whatsoever. Just like, I'm like, oh, okay, that's great. So then he, uh, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm gonna be back in about 15 minutes. And I was like, all right, so, all right. And then I said, he's like, should we just have this over the phone? I was like, no, like it needs to be over Zoom just cause like I need to share, you know, you need to share each other's screens. I could, I have to walk you through a few setup things. And honestly, I mean, he's pretty old. I don't know if he's gonna be able to figure it out. Like he couldn't even really figure out Zoom. So I'm just like, fuck, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Hopefully he has someone on his team who can like help him with it. But it's like, I've never even tested any of this onboarding shit. So I don't even know if it fully works. Like I just watched a YouTube video and figured out how to do like onboarding, I guess, and took notes and I'm just gonna roll with it. But like, we might be in the middle of the call and like, I might ask him to do something and it might not work. And then I will be like, oh shit, and like be put on the spot, like, oh, uh, I don't know how to fix that. Like, like what the fuck, you know what I mean? Like that's just, and I guess I'm just nervous because I'm telling him all this stuff, like, oh, I'm so good at this and that, and I don't know what I'm doing at all. I don't at all, and like, it's just nerve, rack nerve racking, I guess. Cause like, I'm a good person, I like to, keep my promises and whatnot. And like, you know, I don't want to be a shitty service provider. I want to get good results. It's just like, I don't have experience. So that's why it's hard to, you know, guarantee shit. And then it's just like, yeah. So I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna go with it, I guess. I'm sure everyone's felt like this with their first client, like, oh shit, this is really happening. Like, I'm onboarding them, I'm doing this and that, and like, getting that account, and then, I don't, I genuinely don't know how I'm gonna figure this out. I genuinely don't. I feel like all I have is like some YouTube videos that I can watch to figure it out, and that's really it. Like, I'm, I feel so fucked. I wish I just had someone by my side that knew how to run Facebook ads that I could just like, that could help me. But that's, um, I, I can't take the easy way out and just hire a media buyer immediately. Like, I feel like I have to learn the service myself first. So yeah, and I don't even have appointment setters like that can call the people up. I'm asking them to do that on their side. So it's like, okay, I'm not as valuable, not full stack. And it's just like, wow, like, I don't know. I just, and especially after the last call I had with that dickhead, you basically told me like, I don't see the value in what you're providing. Um, I don't need this, this is this is stupid. Like, like blah, blah, blah. Just went off on me and kind of killed the vibe and I'm trying not to let it get to me, but that call went terrible. And so yeah, that's just a um, little bit what's going on right now but it's gonna keep going, I guess. Bro, it's 10.40 and the dude's still not in the meeting. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my composure and just be like, whatever, but it just makes me think he's not that serious. And, um, kind of clueless as to like what's going on here so I don't know I'm still just lingering in my thoughts waiting for this call all right so I just had my first onboarding call ever and wow that was a lot that was a lot that was confusing as fuck um 
so many little like meticulous details and things that you had to set up like with go high level and google calendar and facebook don't even get me started on facebook i absolutely hate facebook but i have to learn it <laughs> in, in order to do what i'm doing and it's painful okay it's painful because I tried a million things tried this tried that one thing wouldn't work another thing wouldn't work like and he was super patient with me, which I'm glad. Uh, and it wasn't the actual client. It was uh, kind of the person who's next, it, not the owner per se, but like the owner's son, who's kind of in charge of sales and all that stuff. So I was talking to him. He's a little younger, which is definitely nicer. Cause it made it um, not as painful for me to walk him through it. But I took some notes and stuff, basically, um, had some issues with the go high level connecting it with the Google Calendar. Got to figure that out. Then um, he, I requested access to his ad account, and he went to go accept it, but it said sorry, it won't, it can't accept it. Then he tried a different email, and then it still wouldn't work. And then he went to go and verify the email because he hasn't wasn't able to verify it. And it said he couldn't verify it either. So, Facebook cut us some fucking slack, okay? Um, and then I wanted to go over that pricing, new pricing structure I'm doing with him. And then he said, okay, well, I have to talk. That sounds pretty good. I just have to talk to um, everyone else about it because they're in charge of that. Like, I, I don't deal with the money and whatnot. So, I was like, okay. And then I got him to set up a Stripe account, but then I sent try to send an invoice, but I need his card information, which he doesn't have, those other people do. So I'm waiting on that as well. And then I asked him about offers, like what are your current offers that you're running? Um, what do you like, what offers you sell the most? Things like that, he said they don't really do offers. Um, and so that took out the other questions I had, which was what are your high ticket and low ticket offers? Um, and what offers you sell the most and all that stuff. He kind of just said, um, we, we usually offer like little discounts per se to people who, um, have been with us for a long time. Like we'll take like $3,000 off the roof or like some stuff like that. But that's just a case by case scenario. They're very family owned local type of business. They're not super crazy or anything. So, but they're doing pretty good numbers. Um, anyway, so, and it's all like word of mouth. But yeah, so I got that information down. So now I got to figure out the Facebook crap and the go high level Google Calendar stuff. And then I sent him a Google form that I just told him to fill out. So I have inf more information to work with um, for marketing and stuff. And then I said, yeah, well, once we get all this stuff done, we'll book a 30 minute strategy session where we'll just talk more about like marketing and all that stuff. and the actual game plan for running the campaign and what we plan to do. So, yeah, that was, uh, that sucked, but hey, I, what, like I said, I took a step over the, I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say. You know, it's another step, you know, I'm just literally blindly taking a step at a time. Don't know what I'm doing at all. Fucking, yeah, but we're making it happen, so. Just gonna keep going.